Hi everybody, Merlin Dean here with SmartphoneNirvana.com. Going to go through another camera app. It is called Color Splash. Um, this is a free version, but I paid for the 99 cent version. Definitely worth it. What it does is it takes any photograph and allows you to keep certain parts in color while you have the other parts in black and white. Now you see here you have the balloons in color. Everything in the background is black and white, so you can paint whatever part that you want to keep. See, on this choice, they have the balloons black and white on top. The reflection is in color, and you can paint that in yourself. Or you can just choose one part of the photograph to put in color, keep everything else in black and white. So I'm going to show you all about the app right now in just a few short minutes. Definitely worth the price, less than a cup of coffee. There's a Color Splash app. It's a picture of a hand holding an apple. And when you bring it up, you can see up here on the top, you're going to start up there with the upper left. Let's tap on the upper left, brings up the menu. You can start a new session, save what you've already worked on. Uh, you can load a session in terms of what you've done in the past. And then you can, of course, share the image. You can print the image, email it to yourself, upload it to Facebook. All the apps are doing that now. Flickr, Twitter, very easy to do. Invert color, the gray just reverses everything that you're doing. But let's not get into that right now until I show you how to actually do it. So we're going to start a new session right up on the top. And it's going to ask you, do you want to take a photo or load? Go ahead and hit load. It's going to bring up your camera roll. And then you can choose whatever photograph you want. And what's really great is if you choose one where the subject is, in, is amidst a crowd. You know, if there's a lot going on around, then that helps out the image a lot. Now, up here on the top, you want to hit the rainbow colored icon that you see here. You don't want to hit the red because the red it just makes everything turn red. But if you want to go back, you make a mistake, you just hit this arrow, the back arrow brings you back to the image. So go to the rainbow and then before you do anything, see you can see here what it does is it just allows you to paint whatever parts you want in color. But you want to do it with real fine lines. So hit the the dot right here and you can see it allows you to choose the intensity of the paintbrush. If you want to do just broad strokes, then that's the one you want to do. If you're going to be doing maybe a mountain scene or something like that. But with kids or with subjects, you want to use the fine brush. So that's the first one. And you want to make it small so that the, the color is not so huge as your fingers going around it. So I'm going to start with small. Then the big key is down here on the bottom left, it says pan and zoom. You want to go over to pan and zoom because then you can zoom in really tight on your subject. There's my little son JD. And then you're going to get an idea here on how to start painting. Then from pan and zoom you go to color and whatever you touch starts coming into color. So you just go around the edges here. Stay within the subject lines and you can get a good idea here of what I'm doing, just like painting. You thought those classes you took in kindergarten for art were not going to come out to benefit you? Well, now you can see why. As you're moving around, did you see what I just did? I hit pan and zoom, then I went back to color again. Because if you leave it on color and you're zooming around, your fingers will, you know, whatever they tap becomes color. So you gotta, you got to color everything in and then hit pan and zoom to go to a different area. So let me try to do this as fast as I can. Go back to the pan and zoom again. Move the subject down. Then hit color again. Whatever you touch will turn to color. And of course it's always great when you have pets, kids, family, scenic shots look fantastic. Go back to the pan and zoom again. Come down here, hit color. Now next to color you have gray, so it could be doing the opposite. You know, you could be making the rest of the picture color, and if you just want the subject to be in black and white, that's when you would hit the gray. So you can see here, with this fine brush, you can get the edges really nice and capture the detail nicely. Pan and zoom, you can go really tight in here if you want to be a perfectionist which is always fun to do. Then you come back out. Oh, you can see the spot that I missed right here. So I see that. Then I'm going to hit color. 
come down his arm here, right along the fine line. Okay, then hit pan and zoom, zoom out, and you can see what you have right there. The subject is in color. Oh, I, I see I messed something up. See, I didn't get the rest of his hat over here. Go back to color and fill in the rest here. This app is incredible when you go home and print these out. Put them up on your wall. They look fantastic. So you can see right there a black and white shot with color on your subject really brings it out. You go back up here to your upper left, hit save image, and it goes right to your camera roll. Simple as that, folks. That is Color Splash. And Merlin Dean here. Check out my website, smartphonenirvana.com, and you can see all the greatest camera apps in one website. Thank you so much.